question for you. Uh, in just in what you're finishing up and saying about the Bible and archaeology, uh, as you pointed out earlier with Kathleen uh, Kenyon and others, oftentimes archaeologists are very fallible. Um, and the Byzantines, and, and I'm sure they, they thought that the locals told them it was right there, and that's the place where it is. Build the church here, and they were way off. Um, is there any? Do you feel there's any danger in archaeologists, especially uh, Christian, tr truly Christian archaeologists, uh, perhaps becoming a, a little too, uh, little too much? You know, almost like a jigsaw puzzle. Let's find that piece that's missing. It must be right here because it's the right. Spot. And we find something that, that seems like it fits. It fits. That's that's it. That that is that is absolutely an issue. That, uh, that we at ABR, with what we do, what we believe in what we do, on the one hand, we're wrestling with the critics who deny the Bible as a historical, uh, appropriate historical record, but we're also having to deal with guys who are doing exactly what you've said. Um, um, a bunch of the Noah's Ark sightings are nothing more than that. I believe, I believe the Bible story, I believe it happened. Uh, I, no question in my mind, it happened. But what evidence is there today and exactly what mountain isn't clear? Uh, by the way, the Bible says Noah's Ark landed where? Mountains. Mountains, plural, of Ararat. And Ararat is the Hebraic form of the, of the name of the ancient kingdom of Urartu. All the Bible says is Noah's Ark landed on one of the mountains in the mountainous region of the ancient kingdom of Urartu. Now that's all it says. And from there, we get all kinds of ideas and some of them are whacked out. Another one that we're, uh, uh, that we're addressing is the site of Mount Sinai. And um, uh, there, are, there, are, there are all kinds of theories and stories. Um, and, and probably the one that's got the most pressed is Jebel, Jebel El Lawaz in Saudi Arabia. There's no question there's something there and it's interesting. But there's just no basis to call it Mount Sinai at this point. And uh, Robert Canuck and what's his name are making a lot of money off of it. I'm happy for him. Wish I could get in on some of it. But, um, you know, there's just, there's, you can't really call it Mount Sinai. You can, you can suggest it is. But there's just no proof that that's Mount Sinai at all. Um, chariot wheels under the Gulf of Aqaba. Um, what's another one? What's another one? Another yeah. Uh, the, uh, Ark yeah. Yeah, the Ark of the Covenant. You know, we believe there was an Ark. Of, well, we believe all this stuff. But what? What? Where is it? What is it really today? Um, yeah, that is a real problem, and we Christians want to find these things. And if we're going to be real archaeologists, scientists, we've got to be honest with the evidence. And if it's not there, it's not there. Doesn't mean the story didn't happen, but we didn't see the evidence.